Hey guys, I'm Josh Douglas and I'm hanging out here on the beautiful shores of Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. I'm dying to go fishing, but I have one thing that I have to do before I go. I got me a brand new Navionics Update preloaded card here and I need to get these nice new maps, these new sonar chart maps and get these downloaded to this card before I can go out and hit the water. I thought this would be a great opportunity to actually demonstrate what a Navionics Update card is, how to download it, and then how to take it to the water and start utilizing those fresh new sonar chart maps. What is a Navionics Updates card? Navionics Updates card is the exact same thing as a Navionics Plus card. They both come preloaded now with all the hot maps, all the original Navionics maps for the USA and Canada, including some of those oceans that, that border the countries. Um, the difference is, is Navionics Plus is $199 and it comes preloaded with all that information that I said before and you can download all those new maps and update your card up to one year. After a year, you need to pay another $99. What's on the card is yours. You pay the $99 for another year of uploads. Navionics Updates is essentially a trade-in program that you're not actually trading anything in. The Updates card is only $99. Same thing as the Navionics Plus card, with the exception of you need an older, outdated Navionics card or a competitor card like C-Map, Insight, uh, Lake Master. Any of those cards, including the older Navionics cards, will unlock a Navionics Updates card. The process is simple. Once the card's actually been unlocked, you have full Navionics Plus capability and one year to update the entire card before it would need to be updated again. Again, the process is simple. I'm gonna walk you through it with this brand new Navionics uploaded, Updates preloaded card. I'm gonna upload my lake maps and then I'm gonna take it to the water. Here we go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is once we've opened up our Navionics update card out of the package is to actually take the card and slide it into our car, my computer's card reader. If your computer doesn't have a card reader, Navionics does include a SD adapter a card reader with every one of their packages. Okay, first thing it's asking me now, it's coming into the system, the system is open, uh, is to unplug my Navionics updates card. So now I'm, it's recognized it, I'm going to simply unplug it, put it aside. My next step is to plug in an old card. Now remember, this could be an old, outdated Navionics card, or it could be a Lake Master card, a competitor card like Insight, CMAP, Garmin. Uh, any, any older card, old Navionics card, or competitor card will do the trick. So in this case, I'm gonna use my old Navionics Premium East card. I'm gonna slide that into the card reader. And now, it, automatically, it's telling me to unplug this old card. So it registered it, I'm gonna unplug it, this card is still good to go, and now I'm gonna take my brand new Navionics card, my updates card, slide it back into the card reader. Just like that, my Navionics updates card is now active. My Navionics updates card is a living, breathing Navionics Plus card with the same exact functionality. So I'm gonna to go to continue. Okay, and now our card is uh, loaded up, it's ready to rock and roll. Uh, this is a preloaded updates card, just like the Navionix Plus is now preloaded. So this, this is already comes with all the lakes, uh, rivers, and oceans for the entire U.S. and Canada. Um, it's your custom Navionics hot maps, what you're accustomed to having in your premium package cards. Uh, this is already preloaded, so I already have all that. But now when it comes to the sonar charts, I want to go through and I want to customize this card for the lakes that I'm going to be fishing. Um, we talked a little bit about it right away, so here's the, here's the process. It's very simple. You use this box, this is a customizable square. So what I want to do is, right here I have sonar charts and I have community edits. These are options that I can add on to my Navionics updates card above and beyond what I already have in the preloaded section. So one thing I'm going to do is we are sitting here on Lake of the Ozarks, so I want to get Lake of the Ozarks. And this thing's customizable. You can see I can take an entire state. I can take a region of a state, or I can take single lakes, two lakes right next to each other, whatever I want. It's, it's free to me to continue to download and upload this card. See here, we're gonna zoom in, and here's Lake of the Ozarks, and since I'm right next to it, I'm gonna go ahead and take Truman Reservoir as well. For this case, and for ease of downloading time, it says it's only gonna be uh, two minutes for me to download. You can see that right here. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the community edits off and make it just a one minute for the download. I want to make sure I get these sonar charts onto my card and start. Perfect. Now that part's done, I can zoom out. And I now have the sonar charts of both Truman and Lake of the Ozarks. 
uh, to show you how easy it would be here and, and how uh, user friendly this card would be. Um, let's go to, let's find Lake Champlain as this is a lake that I'll definitely be fishing here later in the year and I want to make sure I get them sonar charts for that lake as well. So all I'm going to do is go down here to add more, click add more, sort of zeroing in on our coverage here, what I'm going to need. And you can see this is how great this is because Lake Champlain actually straddles a couple different states and Canada. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to find Champlain, so it's just below Montreal goes down quite a ways down to the Ticonderoga area and I definitely want them sonar charts again for this body of water. I'm gonna tighten this up to make our download time less. Zoom in, make sure I got everything. And got all Ticonderoga, it's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and start the download. And that's it. Card is now up to date. I got Champlain on there. I got Lake of the Ozarks. I could continue to go through here and add all those new great sonar chart maps on here to make sure I got the best HD maps and I'm on the water. But I'm dying to go fishing and to save some time, you get the point. I'm gonna get this card out of here and let's take it to the water. All right guys, we've launched. Now from here, we just gotta pull up our lake map. So all I'm gonna do is walk you through the process real quick on my Lowrance. It'll be very similar if you run Humminbird or Raymarine. You'll just have to find those settings on, on, your, on your unit. But here, I'm just gonna pull them up real quick and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some fishing. Okay, from here the process is simple. First thing I'm gonna do is I have, I slid my Navionics update preloaded card into my unit and I'm gonna select uh, my Navionics card. It'll take a second, it's gonna load up all that information. Now as we back out, I can back out right here and in this red grid pattern, I can show you this is all the coverage you're gonna get on your traditional preloaded card, your, your, whether it's a Navionics Plus or Navionics Updates. Instead of the region, I got the entire US and Canada, including some blue water stuff on the side. I'm gonna zoom in now and show you kind of how to utilize the sonar charts. First thing I do when I get on the water is, is I check my mapping and, and I get myself set up. If you look here on this, this particular instance, this was the old map. This is the one that we were showing to you earlier in a clip of some of the new sonar charts. If I just go chart options from my map screen and go to view, I'm gonna click the fish and chip button. That is my sonar charts. Now you can see how awesome of mapping I have available to me, showing me the creek channels, secondary channels, everything I need. Now I'm ready to go fishing. Time to go catch one. <laughs> 